Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Tech Tip. My name is Shajomia and today we're going to look at how we can frame a circular opening using our MWF floor module. Now first thing I would like to say is that MWF usually does not support circular framing openings but there is, all, there is a way to do it and that's exactly how I'm going to show you how we can frame this floor opening. Now first thing I'm going to do is select this floor and I'm going to go into a top view and what I'm, what I'm going to do is create a square opening for MWF to create a panel so the first thing I'm going to do is just go into edit boundary and just select a rectangle and I'm just going to now create a square okay perfect now the next thing I'm going to do is just I'm just going to now before I s click OK I'm just going to hide this for now so I'm just going to cut this and just leave it as it is click OK and then I'm going to now create a panel so I'm going to go on MWF and I'm hitting create uh, I'm going to select light gauge, light gauge but I'm not going to frame it now hit create and I should create some boundary nodes then I'm going to go into properties and then define my opening type so I'm just going to go into type click edit and I'm going to select light gauge rim supported hit select hit OK and that should create and generate my panel so now that's been done I'm gonna select this floor again and I'm gonna bring back that circular opening so I'm gonna click on edit boundary I'm gonna go into this paste tool drop down and you have something called align to same place select that and there you go I've brought back my opening then the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of the square opening. Undo that. Select that one again. There you go. And hit OK. Perfect. Now let me just get in a better view. So here I want to make sure that this track is now becomes a circular track so how to do that we're going to select one of the tracks here and we're going to use this tool called create similar so I'm going to now select this and the first thing we'll do is change the justification the Z justific justification here and it is currently on center so I'm going to change that to top and I'm going to use this pick lines click on pick lines and I'll select the circular opening and there you go it's created my tracks. I'm going to do the same here and that's a perfect circle. Going to exit and go back on the top view. Now I have a circular track created. Now the next thing I want to do is you see these joists. I want to make sure that these are flushed to the circular framing. So I'm going to go on to a plan view and I'm going to zoom in and first I'm going to delete these two tracks and then I'm going to select one of the members and we have a tool called trim and extend multiple elements I'm going to select that and I'm going to first pick the center point and then I'm just going to select all of the joists that needs to be flushed and there you go I'm going to repeat the same process go on to trim and extend select the center point and just highlight the rest of the joist. Now that's been done. If I go back on my 3D view, we have successfully created a panel with the circular opening framed. This is Shijomia with another tech tip. Goodbye.